Welcome back, YouTube. And as you can tell, yes, I'm still wearing a red shirt. I still have the headphones on because uh, although these are going on different days, they're done at the same time. So today we're going to be rocking out example number six. So on my side here, I opened up number six. We're going to close five from the day before. And we're going to right click on six and hit run. Um, and of course, I want to debug also, but I got to put my starting point there. Um, now I'll tell it that I want it to debug it so I have a clean screen there. And I'm actually going to clear this out so you all are happy. Go to my console. Sweet. And let's give ourselves more space. All right. Now let's rock right into it. So first off, variable frame equals what the hell is all this? Curly brackets, curly brackets. So am I saying I want a bunch of empty, empty dictionaries? Maybe. I'm going to format through there. And it just creates a frame with essentially a bunch of extra um, empty, sorry, empty dictionaries. Now I'm putting a print, and what is this again? You should know it just means print a new line. Um, and you'd say, well, that's irrelevant because we have space. And you're right, it is irrelevant, but it did create a new line. That's the point. Uh, printing frame dot format. This will fill in the frame. So there we go. This will fill in the frame. There's our output. And all we did was, again, frame was the variable name, dot format, and then we're putting in the strings that we wanted to tuck into those empty spaces there. Um, and to your point, yes, I could have, I didn't have to call frame here, but by calling frame before the method, by calling the variable to the method, or applying that method to the variable, whatever order I put these in, the strings, it will fill the empty curly brackets in that order. If I wanted to specify the order, I would have had to then done uh, index formatting inside here, and then it would have pulled the index formatting of this order. And then we're just going to, let me FA through again. We're going to print new line. There we go. So we got a new line. We see nothing else. And then we went through frame.format 739168. So the computer now has frame is still the same variable, which is just an empty bunch of curly brackets or empty dictionaries. And now I'm telling it first up here, we formatted with strings. Now we're formatting it with numbers. So my output now, it just has those numbers in that order because I didn't dictate anything with, with indexing. So all we did is just we're filling in that dictionary with so far first with strings and then with numbers. Uh, if I was to call it later, if I was to call frame and print frame, it's going to be pr printing me out what frame is, which is an empty variable. We're just using utilizing different print functions and formats as we run along. F8, we've got a new line and now get out of there. We're going to now we have frame dot format frame 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 so you're gonna say well, why the hell didn't put in the word frame well it's not in quotes again so we didn't it's not a function I'm sorry it's not a string if we put it in quotes it'd be a string just like this will fill in the frame those are in quotes we're telling it it's a string object and therefore it's gonna put it into the empty curly brackets here we're putting in we're telling we're telling format the frame which the frame is a bunch of empty dictionaries with the variable itself frame so if we have one, two, three, four, five, six empties for just one frame, and here I'm calling all these multiple frames, and look at our output, then we should have a buttload of a uh, six series of frames. And look at that, whoop de doo we do. Again, not necessarily important just now, all foundational pieces, uh, just like wax on, wax off, paint the fence, all that crap, it all fits together very nicely later. Running through again, so frame.format, open parentheses, and then we're skipping a line. This is more just for visual um, pleasure. It's we have, We're going to have a bunch of strings that are going to be pump, pumping out, and I just want you to see how it's going to roll. And the reason I do it like this is simply because, you'll notice, as I'm f fading through this, just as a side note, it's not printing anything yet, because we haven't gotten to the end of the print function. We haven't closed it off yet. Once we close it off by me getting past line 15, then it will print it because then we closed off the function. I just don't want you to think it's broken. So we have this is another way that you can add dead blah blah blah. And again, string, 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 comma, next line, comma, next line. And indentation, uh, get used to it for Python. It is uber important. Um, and no, this is not sponsored by Uber Taxi. Just wanted to use the word. So this is another way that you can add data to be plugged into your empty curly brackets. You will see this kind of formatting when we do some machine learning and it blah, blah. Now you'll notice there's spaces here at the ends. And that is because of this space, 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 space. And of course you could have, whoops, whoops, a daisy. Come on, man. 
get rid of those spaces. We'll run it down below. And this is another way that you can add. You'll see it's cleaner. And then we get bigger gaps because I have the spaces there. Again, just for you to learn. Let's scroll down. Let's where we leave off right there. Print. Again, see now test one, nothing came out yet. Come on. Test two, test three, nothing came out. We close off the function. Test one, test two, test three. Prints out. Nothing special there. Again, get in the habit of when you're doing multiple strings or even multiple variables, multiple anything on a print line um, and some function lines, you want to make it clean. You want to make it readable. Print. And then I just have three double brackets. Double, double, double. Test one, test two, test three. And when I close this off, Test one, test two, test three. Look at this formatting though. You may go, what the hell? But it makes sense when you look at the formatting we have here for that print function. That's the one I've highlighted right now. Test one, and then we're indenting test two, test three, and then closing off the function. Going through again, shopping list equals. Immediately, once I hit the F8, once I went through it, since it wasn't a print function, I hit it once and it automatically created the variable. Shopping list and then it's telling it's storing this is exactly what's stored into memory unless we're gonna go back and look at all of this time to make a shopping list backslash tab this is an escape function in Python T means tab so it's actually I didn't indent here like we did up here but the T tells it to tab which this is cleaner just because my tabbing might have different spaces and so forth having it as a backslash tab or an escape tab uh, makes it cleaner if you're utilizing it for web development or other systems, essentially. So, whoop, come back, come back. So, time to make a shopping list or output. Star, star, some protein. And, of course, I have tab, star, star, some protein. So, we have our, we have our tab here. Tab, maybe get some brownies. Tab, star, of course, there we go. And you may notice I don't have these in individual quotes because we have our quotes up top and our quotes up bottom. So we're opening and closing our print function with a string. Backslash tab, star, if I had room in the cart, I'll get some veggies. Escape N, escape T, that means new line, N tab, three stars, all done. Even though this was all in the same print line. A little formatting fun and running through the end of today. Print shopping list, that was for this piece here, which we already did. Now the computer, we just debugged through this line, x comma y equals three comma five. X now has a, the variable x, whoops a daisy. X has a variable three, x the variable has an input three, and y the variable has a value of five. Print x, print y, f8, f8, no surprises there. If you're surprised, then you need to go back to video one, because that would be a little scary. Uh, that's it for today. Again, you may think that this is getting tedious, but that's why these are short videos so you can run through it, play with it, break it, have some fun, and I will see you here tomorrow, maybe with the same shirt.